All right. Well, let's throw this thing on a car and see what we can actually do. All right. So we're going to do a couple of tests with the tilt of this week. Uh, we're going to do a few on the Subaru, a few on a one ton truck, and then a couple of back mounted on some hatchbacks to try to get a little bit of different scenarios where we might want to mount the cameras. So we're just going to try it out in a pile of different configurations and uh, see what works best for us. All right, let's go do that. First, I'm going to grab just my L4. I'm going to put two section cups on it. These guys. Kind of in this area. I just want to make sure that this isn't going to go anywhere. How do I want to do this? Yeah, because that's got to be this guy like this. No, I want this guy here. Oh, what am I doing? I need to be, I'm doing this backwards, aren't I? What am I missing here? Yeah, let's go to the layout again. I do this every time. L literally everything like stiffness wise is at 100%. That's what she said. What am I doing wrong here? That'll be fine. No. Hmm. I might just watch a quick tutorial. You don't have to film me looking at the manual. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so needless to say, a little bit disappointed, but I don't think that's entirely the Tilta's fault. The arm is definitely stabilizing out majority of the road bumps vertically, and, um, and that is not a problem. The Ronin is doing a great job of any of the tilts or the rolls. There is next to nothing uh, as far as movement in those directions, stock as is. But what we're finding is the combination between the isolator not isolating out the, the twisting, like the roll of the vehicle when the vehicle's going down the road and it rolls. <laughs> the whole action twists left and right where there's no stabilization out of the actual Ronin mount for that which is causing the back arm to slightly wiggle left and right. That's, that side of it's been a little bit disappointing. I mean, we can stabilize it all in post and it looks fantastic, but uh, especially with a 180 degree shutter angle, you get that motion blur when you're stabilizing out that, that little micro left and right. Uh, it really softens your image in those spots. So not 100% ideal results. We did try it uh, front of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, back of the vehicle, different suspensions. Um, and the results were almost identical. So it is not the wind that is definitely causing the turbulence. It is uh, the roll of the vehicle. And uh, some of the, basically that isolation being too stiff. It doesn't have enough movement to take some of that body roll out of it. So. We're gonna try some modifications over the next couple of weeks here. Um, we're, we're gonna build our own isolation unit in between the battery plate and the actual mounting plate for the Ronin and see if that takes out that, that back and forth motion. Results are mixed. I, I, I like the, 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 the mounting on the vehicle. It's perfect. Like it's rock solid. Don't have any issues with that whatsoever. Uh, I like the dovetails. I like the adjustments that we have. I almost wish we had two more suction cups to be able to be a little more diverse with where we're, where we're mounting things and to have that security. But as is, even just with the three mounting points and the safety ratchet, I have zero issues going 100 kilometers an hour down the highway and, and worrying about that thing falling off. It's not gonna be the suction cups that fail, that's for sure. Decals, that was one thing we found on the truck. Uh, any kind of duck, decals that you have on the truck that are not like, like smooth coated with like a, a clear coat afterwards or anything like that. They are a source of air leaks, uh, obviously. So we, uh, we have to be very careful with uh, some of our vehicles where we place the suction cups. Uh, isolation, I think, needs some heavy modifications. And the Roan and RS, I, I might be tempted to go with a different style of uh, gimbal stabilizer for this.
Thanks for joining us for another Tuesday Tech Tip and we'll see you next time. Okay, so stiffness all around again. We're back to 100%. And it's good. <laughs>